All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more Atomic Heart. We are back with part number three and we are going to continue on where we left off. Now, I believe they have put in a little bit of an update. The subtitles might be a little bit bigger now on the Russian version with the sub uh, English subtitles. I hope so anyway. Uh, my friend Tyler was telling me they, uh, they updated it to make them a, a little bit bigger at least. It's still not massive. They're still not big enough, but it's, uh, it's something like I wish they would just give us the option to make them as big as we wanted. Like... Uh, most games give you an option to be like one, two, three, whatever. But anyway, enough about that. Let's continue on exactly where we left off. Thank you for all the support on the series so far, guys. Really appreciate it. If you want to see this as a full series, you want us to continue until the end, you know what to do. Drop a like for your boy, and I will make sure to get it to you. Круто. Полимеры здесь обогащаются эфирными маслами кактации цереруса, кактус. Благодаря этому здесь выводят группы растений, адаптированных к высоким температурам. Хотят пустыню озеленить? Почти. Они планируют озеленить Марс. Plan to terraform Mars. Okay, how the hell do we get in there? Gotta be a way. Can we make that jump, maybe? No, absolutely not. Uh... I mean, there's got to be a way. Ah, okay. I think I see how we get up. You got to get on this thing. Take me up, boy. One more. One more. There you go. What are these, like, bowling balls? No, they kind of look like bowling balls, though. But I think we can get up this way. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of platforming action, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. После восстановления температурного режима колбы наполняются автоматически. Well, that was a fucking fail. Am I stupid? I thought you could jump in there. I don't think you could jump in there. Huh? Are you serious, bro? Come on. Can I shoot it or something? Like, how do I get in there? I thought I could... Is this glass? Like, I, I can't see... How do I get it? Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, you can get in here. I just failed first time. All right. Heat-resistant polymer canister. We got it. Is that all we needed? Ooh, we got one of these. All right. Let's see what they have to say. Hooray for steel workers. It's hot, you're hot. Мы хоть здесь все просто. Hey, I was listening to that. Пока и тут какая-нибудь хрень началась. Thank you. <laughs> we should head back before something fucked up happens. Now something fucked up is gonna happen. Oh, we can get up here though. Might as well check what's in here. Everything will be hunky dory. How do I do that thing where I scan again? Кто известно о девчонке Петров? О докторе Ларисе Филатовой? Я так и сказал. Так ты в курсе, кто такая? А чего молчал? Доктор медицинских наук Лариса Филатова работает с академиком Сеченова много лет. Дмитрий Сергеевич не просто там доверил ей одно из наиболее важных направлений в создании коллектива 2.0. Она заменила на этом посту погибшего Харитона Захарова. А это еще кто? Профессор медицины. Прославленный нейрохирург и один из двух победителей коричневой чумы. Захаров Харитон Родионович. Ближайший друг и соратник академика Сеченова. Они вместе стояли у истоков предприятия 3826. Очень хорошо, допустим. Но я про Филатова спросил. Талантливый нейрохирург, ученица и ассистентка товарища Захарова. После гибели профессора продолжила его работу. На сегодняшний день преступница и предательница Родины. В общих чертах понятно. Жалко, симпатично. She's kind of cute. All right, guys. So I have had quite a few people in the comments telling me they just want me to play in English as well. So honestly, I am going to uh, probably test out half and half this video. And whatever people say in the comments the most, like if you want to continue me to continue on with Russian or you want me to switch to English, that's what I'll go Такие with зарасы. for the rest of the series. You just let me know. I personally know. prefer the Russian, Может but it's hard to follow. I understand that. Like, if you're interested in the story, it's definitely hard to follow. Um, and I am kind of intrigued by the story and the dialogue going on, but... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the English voices were just very, very annoying. But I, I guess we could probably get used to them, I don't know. You guys let me know, okay? I hear robots, do I? 
I think we're I think we're back to where we were at the start now. Yeah. This is where those robots were where we killed them before. Okay. Should probably use a healing item. Get that shotgun out, baby. Let's get that reload. Right? I think we only need one more now, right? Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's put this bad boy in. Oh, I don't have the canister for that one. I had the canister for that one as well. I thought. I thought I did too. I thought I had two done already. I guess not. <laughs> get the canister from the pesticide workshop and get the canister from the cold work. Old workshop. Okay. Where the hell are those at? Am I supposed to know? Let's have a look at the map. Geolocation system unavailable. Move into open space. Am I not in open space? Oh, because I'm underground? Okay. So this is where one of them is. That's for sure. It's pointing me down here. The shotgun looks badass with the upgrades, by the way. Look at, look at how cool this thing looks, man. It looks sick. Hello, hello. Don't you know? Oh. Hello, my ladies. Remember to regular visit visit Nora. Yeah, yeah, I know. Code name P3 access granted. I knew to shoot better. We already upgraded the shotgun quite a lot. So let's see about upgrading the Swede. The bad boy axe. Let's upgrade the grip. An ergonomic handle. We can upgrade that. Okay. Steel handle. Cartridge gun. Cartridge module. The installation of a cartridge module allows for the application of a thin layer of special chemical polymer to the weapon's blade, giving it additional properties when it comes in contact with the enemy. I mean, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Abilities, please. Show me my ability points. All right, what do we have? We have 61. We probably have enough for something somewhere. Let's see about frostbite. Now, I do have quite a few frostbite already. This is 34. Frozen targets receive additional damage when the freeze effect ends. Yes, I want that because I love freezing those enemies. I love freezing those sons of bitches. Uh, okay, mass telekinesis. Do we have that one yet? I think we did have this one, right? Yeah, I thought we did. Oh, I, ha I have it. But allows you to grip all enemies in the area effect, lifting them up into the air for a short period. I thought I already had this in use. Oh yeah, I do. It's left. It's the left directional button. Okay. Yeah, let's go onwards. Let's save the game though. Let's save the game and let's try playing English. Let, uh, now that we have a save point, let's try playing English for a little bit and see uh, see if we can deal with it. If I can deal with it uh, until the end of this video, then maybe we can deal with it for the series. But I know people wanted to, me to check it out in English. I apologize for all the switching between the two as well. I know I, I just need to fucking pick one and go with it, but it's kind of hard to do that one. When there's like the issues with the subtitles and stuff like that that I was having and it's really hard to follow the story and stuff like that. So I'm just going to check it out in English for half an hour period maybe and then we'll switch back to the Russian. And whatever you guys want, let me know in the comments. I'm going to go based off common feedback, honestly. And that's that's about it. Like I know people uh, were com like in, in one of the videos, people were commenting pretty much all of them were like, yeah, play it in English. But I am completely open to staying on Russian as well if, uh, if that's what people prefer. Just let me know. All right. Let's see what we got, baby. Let's continue. Because there is a lot of dialogue. That's the problem. Like, there's a lot of dialogue, and I really don't like how he sounds in it. That's why I was, like, apprehensive about it. I just don't like how he sounds in English, but especially with the amount of dialogue that there is. What's this crap? We'll see. That is a sprout. There's no subtitles on. Why is there no subtitles? Subtitles on. Displaced subtitles for speech. Yes. Should I kill him? Oh, we can't go in there. <laughs> I see. Hello. Let go of it then. There we go. Thank you. There's a chicken a eating a man's chicken. face. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> a killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Okay. Oh. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. What do I do? Do they just not see me now? Like, what, what the hell is going on there? <laughs> They're just like, yeah, out of sight, out of mind, I guess. Oh, the rescue team. Finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. 
rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long, How long ago did, you, did you, die, you die, I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks. Like popping the caps off soda bottles. Jesus Christ. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the room. The last thing I remember is being dead. We're gonna take him down, buddy. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. All right. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. All right. Sounds good. Congratulations, the Vavilov complex. There's a file here. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Zolotukhin? director of the Vavilov complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier. Main man. And we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I knew it. It's always Mars, huh? Order. Personal request. Hello, I don't have, ti have time to type, so I'm just going to record this on a chirper, okay? Personal request. Well, I'll play it then. I've got a personal request How many times do I got to play it, man? The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Hmm. Right. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, my friends. What the hell are we trying to get? We're going up here. Okay. Yeah. Get Ooh, the canister. Cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. Okay. We're going in, though. That's a problem. Do I want to kill this thing? Oh, yep. Yes, I do. God damn, that thing freaked me out. I guess you want to fuck this thing. Yeah, what's up now, bitch? You like that? All right, one shot killed him. That was pretty easy. 
This is messed up that they just have a cow, like, standing inside there. God damn it, poor guy. I mean, I'm sure a lot worse things happen happens to cows, to be honest, but... That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Yeah, fish. Oh shit, they hear me. Here they come, boys. Sick! <laughs> That's dope as hell, uh, man. What a goddamn cluster fuck. Nice! Nice, baby! I love that, dude. I love it. Are you still alive, buddy? Get out of here, bitch. Alright, they're opening this. You gonna get that cow out of here? Alright. Come on, come on. Who else wants some then? Haha, -ha, sucker. Alright. There's just an endless supply of these little rats. Gotcha, boy. I feel like I hear more still. Yeah, there's more. Oh, are they just coming out of here? That's why. I see. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? How am I meant to kill as many of them? But they were... That was stoppable. See ya, bud. It's the looting system so good in this game, I must say. Alright, what the hell are you doing up there? You can calm down, sir. Alright? <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Alright, there's cows and all sorts in here. Is there more enemies? Greetings, Valentin Demyanovich. Valentin Demyanovich. Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, That's good. It is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing What's spinning? From an automated that should do the trick. Yeah, this poor pig. The handle's attached. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. On with my life. Day 782. What does this even do? At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to pay any attention to this circle of life, as they call it. But then I realized there's something of an art form to it. Circle of life, indeed. Why did they even have to invent the name? So to them, their employees are nothing but mindless swine, like these animals. Well, this isn't killing, it's just maintaining a surface of life. You know what, Oliver? Even if we are just a swine, who gave us the right to mistreat the other swine, right? I'm up. Oh, sorry. shit. I truly am. God knows it's true. You died a hero. I may be thinking about this. Ah. What's up, baby? Do you like that? Come on. When put to flash the music, the emotions in the shower has become a kind Bitch! Mess with me! After all, new pigs keep being born. Oh, I see. Okay, wait. There's a chicken that's wrong. And the pig is wrong. It can't be right. Okay, so I want to fix this back. Uh, no. I should ask to be transferred to another department. The other pig is wrong. Temporarily. I don't even see another pig. Keep your claws off that. Not this recording. Oh, okay, I'll switch it off. Oh, here he is. <laughs> that one's right. Okay, so one chicken is wrong. Let's see if it's uh, these chickens. Is it those chickens? Yes, okay. And then one more cow is wrong. Is it this one? New, okay, good to know. Switch that back. Is it this one here? Is it this bad boy? That's gotta be this one then. Oh my god, Holy that's messed fuck. up. Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. That's where they all though. go then? To the algae workshop to undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even wanna know. No, we don't. 
I'd rather not. Jesus Christ, that's messed up. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners Whoa. in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now, it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Hey, buddy. You're super dead. Shit. Oh, Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Yeah. I will say, I'm, I'm not really having the same experience last time. Maybe it was just a particular part of the game where the English voice uh, voice main guy was a complete asshole. Because it definitely seems to be a little bit better now. We'll, we'll see uh, if it continues as such. But definitely seems a little bit... Uh, a little bit more manageable, definitely, anyway. Okay, so, I never know what I'm actually doing here, but I eventually figure it out anyway. Okay, so these line up. Okay, that's the middle one. Which one do we want to line up? Do we want... Okay, there we go. Sweet. All right, game saved. So that did what we needed us to do then, and now we can press the button. Press the button, there push that button, baby. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds oh, shit. a little too easy. Yeah, they're gonna come for me. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Bitch. <laughs> Get right. You stay down, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Come on, boy. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get you, get you. Jesus Christ almighty! Oh, pain in the ass? Yeah, pain in the oh, ass, shit. yeah? What's the matter with it? What am I... Oh, shit. Okay, let's get the gun out. What is this? Only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Yeah, dickhead. Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Well, I just ran out of shock. You could have told me I needed shock beforehand. Bloody hell, mate. Ah, this thing here, okay. Bitch, get your head cut off. Nice! That was sick, boys. These little fucking scumbag bitches. Alright, need to use one of these. That's one more. Come on, we need the last one over here. We need to stop them going in this time. I also need some ammo, preferably. What's up? Mess with me, see what happens. All right, there we go. Gotta go back up and restart it now. Great. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, come on. Don't let these bastards go in there. Take these little bastards out. Oh, it was one of these. Shit. Go. Agricultural Gaming Club. Sure, let's play it while we're fighting. The graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the beating bed. Tic-tac-toe, baby! This is crazy! There's so many of them. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a Bitch. little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? It just... How are there still this many? Like, how many do I have to kill? Jesus Lord, man. There can't be this many. There just can't be. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, I, I killed at least a hundred of them there, and they somehow still fucking clamped this thing. Like, come on. All right, let's heal up, and then let's get this last one done and dusted. All right, that's got. This has got to be the last time I have to do that, right? Because I refuse to do it again. I simply flat out refuse. I like how many do I have to kill? I've never had to kill more things. Just things. Any things. 
I should probably be freezing them here, actually. This would be a beautiful place to start freezing things. All right. Let's switch to a uh, shotgun or something, because these guys only take one bullet, to be fair. Shoot them. Are you serious? There we go. Get that running again. <laughs> Bitch. Wow. You don't say. There we go. Data saved. Attention that should be the, the penultimate canister we have to get. Oh no, what is that noise? Don't like that. Alright, another one. Oh, we can go out this let's way. Get the hell out Alright, let's um select the desired procedure. Let's see if Charles needs a tune-up. He probably does at this point. Energy management. Okay, let's see. Adds another power cell to the recirculation chamber. Lost health is recycled into energy. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Every time I get hit, I get energy for it. That's handy. That's handy as hell. Alright, we'll go with that for now. And we shall continue on about our business. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well maybe you should think <laughs> about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Right in the head. Good lord, those guys got right. I can just take a hit to get some energy now, back now. Oh see ya, buddy. See ya. These guys... This gun's have to get a lot better because I used to have to shoot these guys like five times. Now, well, never mind. I fucking changed. I do have to shoot this guy five times. All right, come on, get your. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, play games. Come on. Wow, you don't say. Finally. Finally what? You don't say finally what, pal. You like them? You like them apples, like boy? That, hey, you little bitch. Jesus Christ! How do I throw this? I'm dead. I'm stuck, and I'm dead. Like, nothing I can do there. You get stuck so easily in this game. If you're going through the wrong place, man. The way they look at you is so creepy, bro. Uh, my aim is trash right now. What the fuck? Come on, boys. Three of you. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn, boys. Come on. What's up? Take all you sons of bitches down. You weird ass robots. All right, anything else worth getting in here? Probably not. Let's continue. Oh, Jesus. Is this a special kind of guy? He's got a black suit on this guy. What does that mean, bro? What the fuck do you... What do you, get, what do, you do differently? You got more health? Okay. Maybe he does more damage. I don't know. Oh, he's a fucking Superman. I hate these guys. No, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. What's up now? That game frozen, bitch. Right in the head. Right in the noggin. See you later. His body just dissipates there, though. That means I don't get anything off him, which kind of sucks, but... Better than dying. You know? Are you serious? I, whenever I, I panic whenever I miss one. I just need to not panic when I miss one. When I miss one, I keep tapping. And then I just miss like four in a row. I need to just relax a minute when I miss one. Just calm it all down. I only have four bullets left, I just realized, so. I should probably. Hear I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. That's my fucking line. Crispy critters. Like, what the hell is that about? Like, I don't even know what that means. 
Oh my lord! Shit! Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. Okay. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. <sighs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Okay. Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed. All right, I got Where do you. I find that yellow cylinder. It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. All right, let's do it. Let's blow that motherfucker up. What does this do? Not sure, but it didn't sound very good. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, all everything in here is alive. Oh, hey, buddy. How's I not hitting him? Was I shooting above him? Like, what the fuck? Give me all that good shit. Not sure what you even really give me. A neuropolymer. Okay, I'll take that. Come on, boy. It's actually super satisfying in this game, I must say. Gotcha. Shards of ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Me that chest, son. We got enemies. Ah, I love that. Like, how many times you gotta shoot him with this goddamn trash ass gun, boys? This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Oh, sure that's pretty big. So. There's nothing <laughs> else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. We're Indeed. really bringing that tank back. Okay, then. The power cell that changed. Yeah, I believe these things on PS5 actually have videos right there, but on Xbox, they're just the videos non-existent <laughs> and the game runs like Superbly worse on Xbox. That's so random, dude Like that's just empty on Xbox. That's so weird. Like it just doesn't work. Why? Use telekinesis to move uh, platforms. You can't move a platform that you're standing as on. As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Fair enough. But oh, wait, how do I... Do I gotta use this thing to... Oh, I want to move, though. Oh wait, do I gotta use that thing up there? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I see another one. Maybe I use that one up there to turn it. I've been struggling to figure out what the fuck I do here. I think. Are you serious, dude? I swear I have to press buttons twice in this game for it to actually react sometimes. I don't know why, but it's, it's unresponsive as hell sometimes. All right, there we go. And this thing here, surely, is what we're gonna have to use. Switch, there we go. All right, now we're cooking out here, boys. Go forth to victory. Do I have to use that again to switch it, or do we have to use a different one to switch it is the question. Like, is there another one to switch, or can we... S hmm. Oh, yeah, this one here probably, huh? All right, this one here. We can switch it. And then get it all the way down here. Pesticide level decreased. Now at 8%. Okay. Damn it. How the fuck do I get this thing here? Get over to that one. 
Gotta be ah, this one here potentially. No, that doesn't go out that way. There's no, there's none that go out that way actually. So there's gotta be something on ground level that we can use to get up onto that one. Or maybe we use this thing over here potentially. <laughs> ah, yes, I think that's what we gotta do. But how do I get? Okay, I think I know. I think I know what we gotta do, son. Alright, so we gotta go get this. Are you s oh, dude, this game sometimes, man. The jumping is stupid as fuck. Oh, this shit. Alright, there we go. We're in. And we can get across by using this, I think. Yes. So we need to get this up and then switch it again once we get it up, I think. Alright, and then switch it. And then go forth to victory. Smash that thing out of the way, baby. Okay, and do I want to switch it again? No, that one doesn't matter. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm okay, we're running out of time here, huh? Dude, fucking jump up onto this thing! Are you stupid? Can you, is, is that not meant to be possible or some shit? Like, what the fuck is going on? Sometimes he's so dumb, it's insane. Okay, and then go forth. Dashing while jumping? Yes, I know how to dash while jumping. Thank you very much. Okay, and then we can get over here. And that should be the end of this thing. Come on. Get it through there, boys. Keep it going. Keep it going. No, no, no. One more. There we go. Okay. 4%. Oh, we're Situation dead. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? We gotta get it, get this now uh, turned and then forward. Forward, forward, forward. Come on. Go, dude. I think we gotta switch it like this, right? That's what it was. Now we gotta go back. Oh, it's coming. It's coming automatically. Thank God. Okay. Why did I come down then? Shit. 2%? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay with me. You first. <laughs> you first. Fuck it. Alright. Fine. Switch that thing and now go. Come on, what dude. Please. So Please. Choke on your pesticides. Fuck back. That's it. Smoke break. Is this gonna work, though? Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Yeah, throw your, your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Whoa! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in rage! We gotta run before it. Hang on! Yeah, he's dead. He is super dead. God damn it! Oh fuck! My leg! <laughs> you okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! Oh my Help god. Get it He's dead. Me. Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. I think it might be a little late. <laughs> Hang on, buddy. I'm coming as he's getting his oh, face shit. eaten. Pause. It's a oh, fucking can. Perfect. Well, it's something. Oh no. He's mutated. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> the English one's so stupid. It's almost funny. I don't know. It's like there's a level Frisky of comedy crack. to it. Get the fuck off me! Poor guy, man. Shit, that was insane. Yeah. Skills is experiments and unique experience. You can reset skills and re uh, redistribute the return neural polymer to use other skills if you get tired of the old ones or to change your play style. Okay. You guys seriously Won't be got punished nothing at all. Nice. In these all right. Uh, here we go.
here we go. Let's see about upgrading our weapons or maybe even crafting weapons. We need recipes for those. Okay, what should I upgrade? Let's upgrade the Electro because this fucking gun sucks, dude. <laughs> this gun sucks straight up. Energy Vampire Damage Redirects. Whoa, what the fuck? Where'd you come from, pal? Didn't even though it was possible to get attacked while I was using that thing. That's some bullshit. I was just trying to have some alone time with my lady here. All right, we need to upgrade the Electro, though, for, for real. We need to upgrade the Stunning Head. EMP Generator causes robotic and control circuits to fail temporarily. Robots lose their functionality for duration of... I'm going to go with this, I think. Oh, I can't. I can, I can get this one, though. No, not enough resources. I can't. <laughs> well, then. Video is not available. We can install this one, at least. So let's install the recirculation chamber, the Electro Gun, and uh, see what else we got. We have one of these in storage. I guess I could take that. Yeah. And let's use one, because we're quite low. Give me some good stuff, man. Alright, I'm out of here. See you later, guys. I'm running. Look at the amount of them. Holy shit. <laughs> no, we're close. Are you shitting me? Oh, fuck no. Oh, we're dead. What the fuck do you want me to do, dude? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? I gotta freeze them all, maybe. I really have to fucking just buy my upgrades again? God damn it. I hate when that happens. When you die and you have to... Like, they should just save the game automatically after you do your upgrades. That shit's annoying. Like, especially if you've done a lot. Like, I didn't do a lot there, thankfully, so... Not a big deal, but it's really annoying if you've fucking done a lot. All right, this time I'm gonna make sure I do not run in there before I need to, because that really... That messed us up bad, because that meant that we were fighting him, uh, fighting more than we needed to at once. Alright, let's take the shotgun on how many bows do we have for this. Not that many, honestly. Not enough. Definitely not enough. There you go, alright. Better this time. Now, we need to be ready for the large mutant this time. That door closed up real quick. Let's try let them come to me before. Come on, buddy. Damn it, didn't mean to use that, but whatever. Got your head, son. Whoa, chief. What's up, baby? This fucking one lights me on fire, okay. That's what that one was. That's what that one was last time. All right, is it just the large mutant? Do we have to worry about others too? We do, we have to worry about others too. We need to get these things first, man. All right, we need to worry about those things first because they do, uh, they create the most fucking drama for us here. So we need to worry about them and then we'll see what happens after. There's so many of those things everywhere. That's what is making this fight so difficult. It wouldn't be that difficult if there was not a hundred of these motherfuckers, you know? Yeah, I'm dead, by the way. Super unfortunate, but I'm about to die. There's so much wrong with you, bro. Come on. Fucking kill him, please. For all that's good and holy, kill him. Yes! Holy shit, let's go. We killed him. We have zero polymer left. Because you're an asshole, dude. You tried to kill me. That's what happens when you try and kill Daddy Healy. Jesus, that was nuts, man. Look at the amount of things we killed in here. Like, just look at the amount of things we killed in here. Why is it telling me I have no things equipped? Like, I have no Nori poly Noru Polymer. I literally just picked up so many. Like, I swear I just picked up so many... So many of that shit. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ, how much health does this guy have, man? Jesus Lord Almighty. Yeah, see, I have loads of neuropolymer, but I don't know how to equip it. Small neuromed capsule. Move to Nora, is that what I used with it? No, Nora is my goddamn... Ah. Nora is my storage. Press that by accident. Jesus, look at the two dents I just put in this man's head. Unfortunately, he has a serious amount of damage to me now, but... What's up, bitches? 
That was my last shotgun bullet too, but I needed it. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, hey, buddy. See, it's saying I'm picking up blue loads of cap. Oh, there we go. I got a capsule now. Okay. I was thinking of a different thing. <laughs> Get beheaded, son. I really need some uh, more Neuromed capsules, though I have one. Look at the amount of... Ugh, Superman. Look at the amount of damage done to this man's head and he's still walking forward. Like, what the fuck else can I do? Jesus Lord, man. <laughs> I had so much damage done to him. There's so many of these freaks at the moment. All right, are we nearly back? We're back. Oh, thank God. All right, that should be us out of here. I'm hoping that's us out of here. It took so long to get out of here, man. <laughs> uh, four canisters. Jesus Lord. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's get out of here. Ride the elevator up. I have a feeling... We but did it, Comrade Major. We're not Slow getting out of here yet. Glove, I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. <laughs> How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Very much so. Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Get the hell Done. out of here. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. Right? If I ever see another goddamn canister, finally. it'll be too soon. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. I have to press the button. Is it? Charles. There we go. How did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was... He's really trying hard. <laughs> or something. Like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Yep. R.I.P. Is this the longest elevator ever, or what? Like, how long have we been on this fucking elevator? How high are we going, dude? It's going pretty fast, too. Like, this is, like... <laughs> Thousands of footage we must have covered, uh, covered already. Jesus Lord. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane. Still going. This is still going. There we go. I think we're finally here. Good Lord. Thank you. We need thank to you. go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. All right. Authorization, Major Nichayev. Yes, it's me. I wonder what she's gonna sound like when she's trying to flirt with us or whatever. <laughs> that should be interesting. Polymeric shield. Okay, what does this do? Your glove can surround you with a neuropolymer shield that protects you from melee and range damage and redirects parts of the neutralized projectile's energy into recirculation chamber's power against reserve. Does not protect against what? Does, does not protect against what? I don't know. Whatever, I'll, I'll install it though. Install it here though. Because I want the, the mass telekinesis so, one and so. the freezing one are kind of similar, so... I think I'll stick with the weapon. I'll stick with the freezing one, and we'll go with the uh, with the shield as well, because the seal shield sound, sounds like it really could come in, uh, right? And let's check out increasing frostbite as well. Received increased loot when you defeat a frozen enemy. Okay, speeds up the cryopolymer discharge to freeze enemies more quickly. Take that. That could be handy. And then, other than that, we don't really have an option for anything. When the gloves reserves are depleted, it produces cryopolymer from your bloodstream instead, enabling you to use the cryojet at the cost of your health. That's pretty badass. I'll do that. 
I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because I'll probably use it by accident, thinking I have some left, and end up killing myself. <laughs> All right. Hi, right, guys. How we doing? We were here already, right? Yeah. Open the door, damn it. And back out into the world we are, finally. Took a hot minute there for us to get back out. To oh, shit. Shit. Chill us. What are they doing? They're oh, repairing no. broken robots. Ah. The more cellas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Aren't they bringing back robots that are trying to kill us, though? Oh, okay. They're friendly ones. Thank God. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Okay. The Hawk Relay and the Wind Catcher WTG. The Hawk is the ecosystem's regional uplink. It stays in the air powered by a wind generator. A Hawk can be controlled via a terminal. Any hostile activity picked up by the Dandelion CCTV cameras will result in sending a level 2 alert to the nearest robot assembly plant calling for reinforcement. Right? There are cameras everywhere. Can I heal myself or am Where I good? Do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known Let's as just the use Hawk. It. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. Great. That sounds terrible. Are they following me right now? Are they jumping after me? Because I thought they were meant to be friendly. It was only the hawk I had to avoid. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. My polymer Which other retina? Facility robots are the Snap A module is locked. Uh, lock is used rather by the ecosystem to control access to important areas. Only the dandelion camera can interact with the lock. An administrator can connect to the camera through the nearest Volan. Auxiliary interface. Okay. All of them. I Damn it! The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Volan. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully, there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, up there, a device with that designation can be found in this village. <laughs> Detecting its signal, up top. Use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. I think it's up there, boy. Oh wait, we can fly up here like this? What the hell? I didn't even know this was a possibility, but that's pretty badass. Not gonna lie. This device allow us to hack into the security system. Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. I need a Where's code? the fire, Sonny? Granny. Oh, Granny! Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? <laughs> Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece, and now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit Valon. Here's a little <laughs> tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? <laughs> hey, broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, uh, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Remember there? Are she talking about the field down here? I'm guessing, yeah, okay. Let me down, I guess. Oh, this is actually like a little elevator, cool. All right, let's get to Granny Zena's place. Granny Zena's the, the main woman, huh? She's kind of awesome. I can't wait to see more of her, honestly. She's so cool. All right, let's go. Am I getting shot at right now? All right, Granny Zena, what are we doing up here, huh? I thought that was Granny Zena for a second. <laughs> Hello. Why does my hand look so fucked up? Well, this ain't good. Granny Zena, I need your help right about now, maybe. 
Let me go, you son of a bitch! Why is he doing this, man? Oh. Thanks, Granny. <laughs> is she gonna land on top of him? Oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. No shit, Sherlock. That's pretty badass, I gotta lie to you. That's cool as hell. <laughs> well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Alright. Thank you. Let's have a cup of tea with Granny Zena, eh? Why not? Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, I haven't okay. really seen her yet. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. Cartoons. Damn, what is that you? you? Shush, is that Shush, Granny right there from way back in the day? Shush, She's hot. To watch at facility 38, 26. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not. Our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refuse to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population, the launch of the collective neural network, Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. Indeed we do. <laughs> Indeed we do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? Okay. And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Alright, let's check this out. 
These are the Volan codes we need. Oh, that new gun. Dominator. Hell yeah. I want the I want to use the Dominator. That sounds awesome. That sounds dope as hell. Alright, let's uh Let's take Granny Xena's chests. Cartridge slots. A cartridge slot gives the weapon it is installed on elemental damage on the cartridge type fire, frost, or electricity. To install a cartridge, you need to get the appropriate upgrade for the selected weapon. Use the radial menu to select and install the cartridge. Okay. Then that's bullshit. All right. We got the blueprint for it, I guess. We have 15 of those. We need 144. We only have 33. Fucking hell. Okay. All right, Gran Granny Zena, what do you have to say? You're ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Is she gonna end up being like our, our actual grandmother or something? Like, I don't know. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Xena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. <laughs> That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. Damn. <laughs> How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. Okay. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? I guess, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a good deal. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? No. Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. All right. You're no, a sharp didn't mean bird. to do that. Anyway, I gotta run. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did, did you? We? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box. Rings in a box? No, Granny Xena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Hmm. Enjoy the VDNH. I wonder if that is something we Thanks. could have found. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? Yeah. How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Crouch things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Whoa. It just opened, huh? All right, thanks, Granny Zena. Appreciate you. Charles, who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Let's do it. Look at that little bastard. He's firing. Why are they firing at me, man? Why are they converging on me? I wasn't even seen on a camera, was I? I must have been. I don't see anything I can interact with, but I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated. Okay, let's open the gate. There we go. We open the gate. Sweet. Easy claps. Is that all we needed to do? Get to Lesnaya Station. Game saved. All right. Sweet. And I think that's a good place to end part uh, number three, guys. We have a nice view up here. 
We're a little cozy. We'll take a little bit of a breather up here. And then uh, next video, we'll be ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content. And the best way to let me know that you want to see this going forward. I've kind of gotten used to the English voices now, to be honest. Not as bad as I thought they were for that 10 minutes that I played in them. Um, definitely a lot more manageable in this video anyway. Uh, they're not perfect. I definitely feel like it's more authentic with the Russian voices. But considering all the problems that we have with that, then I feel like it's just worth it to... Um, Playing English, but I'll leave that guy up to you guys completely. Uh, you guys can let me know, all right? And we'll listen to this before we go. We'll just see what the what the hell this is about. Long distance communication listen, on this little bed here. I've, toward the end of my shift, I started using light signals to talk to the guy in the lighthouse on the other side of the lake. See it over there? It's called the Neva Lighthouse. Where? I figured he was lonely. This I mean, one? I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sahalin, along with a lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? Just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there, sending signals to ships. And now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift. There's some random blood up here. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.